Live Android late breaking complete Google I.O. 2011 coverage continues on the droidguide.com. Brought to you by Millennial Media. So here we have the Lightbox uh, Photos application. It's a replacement for your camera and your gallery application. It lets you browse all the photos that you've taken with the app very smoothly, pinch to zoom, all the user experience that you would expect from a good gallery application. But at the same time, it lets you connect to your social networks. So over here, we have what we like to call a social camera roll. And these are the photos coming in from my social network. So not photos taken by me. So is it aggregating your Twitter friends and your Facebook friends? Yes. Awesome. So when you when you open up your account, you could attach your Facebook, your Facebook account, your Lightbox account, as well as your Foursquare account. And so, for example, here is a Here's a picture that's coming from Android guys. This is a tweet. You can see the tweet down here. You could retweet it from within the app. Uh, you could browse the photos just as if they were your own photos. The user experience is just as good as your, your native uh, gallery. This is a Facebook photo. You can see the comments coming in. You could also add a comment if you like. But on, um, on the Twitter one, can you download the photo? Or is it to stay in the cloud? So, as it, uh, can you keep the photo? Yeah, if I want it. Like somebody yeah. else's photo. Yes, you could, re you could retweet it out or you could uh, share the photo using one of the other inbuilt applications. And then what about a Facebook photo? Can you do the same thing? You could do the same thing with a Facebook photo. Even if it doesn't belong to me? If it doesn't belong to you, it's, it's the same as if you go to your Facebook page, you right click and you save. It's now in your control, right? Yep. Uh, we have an inbuilt camera as well, so you could take a you could take a photo. And you could apply one click filters, black and white, low mo, there you go. And when you save it, you could add a description, tag it with the location, choose the privacy settings, you could choose to post to Facebook, tweet it out. Um, and when you save it, it will save to your camera roll and it will sync up with your Lightbox account and any other device that you have that runs Lightbox will automatically sync the photos that you've taken so you could you, you can see all your photos between all your devices. Is there a web-based gallery too, like at lightbox.com? Yes, there is. If you, if you go to lightbox.com, you could see your photos. So, so that's your Lightbox photos? Or is it also is, stuff we are This is my co-founder's Lightbox photos, but I'll show you mine. And are, are the social media ones coming in too on the web like they do on the phone? No, the, like this these, is your photo. These are just my photos. So these are this this is my photo also. These are all the photos I've chosen to make public. Um, but you can log in and you can see all the photos that even that they're not taken. Public. Yeah. Cool. And it's lightbox.com. Lightbox.com. And you guys are still yeah. in private beta right in, now, right? Yeah, we're in private beta. You could you could sign up for the private beta. And website. when do you plan on launching? Uh, we're looking to launch. Uh, uh, in the next month or so. Awesome, man. Well, thank you very much. Google I.O. 2011 coverage also brought to you by AndroidHomecoming.com, September 23rd through 25th in Mountain View, California.